your essay indicated that you've faced down a, a number of personal challenges. Talk to me about that. I was uh, addicted to heroin. Justin. Sports had always been a cure for Justin. The thing that made him feel alive. I am I'm Justin. Are you just smoking it? Or are you shooting it too? You're a joke on the field. And I'm an addict. I just, I just, yeah, go back to what you were doing before. Go do some drugs, like white trash do. Your mother has also struggled with addiction? What have you got? A junkie mom and a deadbeat dad? My mom is a, a junkie. And her boyfriend is and not a very nice guy. She doesn't give a fuck about how I'm doing, of course. Yeah, she has. It's about your mom. I'm sure she passed away yesterday. And we got the call this morning. You're making amends? I'm trying to. I don't I don't really feel like I can. I've got all this on me and I don't ever know how to get out from under. With a history of IV drug use and sex work to avoid testing. Sex work? I had sex with men for money. Justin never spoke to you about the time he spent homeless? I was on the streets and I needed money. Sometimes they would do stuff that we didn't talk about. My name is Justin Foley and I'm a survivor. I just felt like I was five again and it was all my fault. You know I'm like really fucked up. All I do is mess up your life. But I was afraid. Afraid of losing my best friend, my girlfriend, my entire life. I'm gonna keep trying not to die. He can take care of himself, okay? Always has. Ma'am, he's 17 years old. How you been doing lately? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm alright. Yeah? You okay? Fuck you, am I okay? Are you okay? No. No, man, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm fucking sad. I've, I've lied to you. I'm, I'm just gonna let you down. Just like I let everyone down. Stop. Always stop. I didn't ask you to come looking for me. I came to the fucking alley for a fucking reason. I hate myself. I fucking hate that I feel hey, this way. Hey. And you say I'm not right, man. But you aren't even the same person anymore. You come back from rehab and you break up with Jessica and you narc on me multiple times and, and maybe this is your next thing. Maybe you're the one who wants a confession. You're fucking using again? Fuck you. You know I'm clean. Look, Clay, I know I'm the last guy to tell you not to do drugs. It's just weed. I sound like I'm shooting heroin in a fucking alley in Oakland. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before I fuck everything up and just become a junkie again. Who the fuck are Matt and Laney? Your mom and dad! Yeah, my mom and dad. They're not your fucking parents, so stop pretending they are. They know what you are. You're not fooling anyone, Justin. They never trusted you, that's why they drug tested you. You're just a white trash piece of shit, Justin. Nobody in this world gives a shit about you. You've got nothing, and nobody. I, I just felt empty and, and, and messed up and alone. Could have fucking died. <laughs> like anyone would even care at this point. It just feels like, like no one believes in me, like no one trusts me. That night, he felt more alone than ever. We could scatter her ashes in the river. I don't fucking want anything, okay? I don't need some bullshit service so that you all can feel better about some broke donkey being dead! Jesus! Fuck! You pull that trigger, and there's no going back. I have been going to all my meetings. I have been checking in with the counselors. I'm doing good. That's the way. Jess, it's okay. It's okay. What can we do? I'm good. Really, really, thank you. Dude, I'm worried about you. Yeah, I'm worried about me too. Look, my folks could get you, like, I, I don't know, they have, like, addiction doctors? I don't want to spend any more of your parents' money. But we should do something. I don't want them to know I relapsed. If I go to Sanderson, it's free. You don't want to go just because it's free. We're not poor. I don't want to cost your parents any more money. And I don't want to take away from something that, that, that should be yours. Hang on, Justin. We're working on it. I know. Thank you. I don't recognize this. I don't know who this is. It's me trying... trying to get better. You want me to go? You got reason to stay. I can't give it to you. You got to find that for yourself. Clay and Tony, they, they found me. And, and saved me. I probably need more help. The talking, it, it helps? I think so. I hope so. Just don't forget to be a kid, too. 
This is the guy who once said college is for people who couldn't get a job. I didn't think I was good enough. I didn't think I deserved the future before. Wait, you? I never thought you were good enough. You were always such an arrogant asshole. Yeah. Those are probably related. I got in. Yes! Way to go, kiddo. <laughs> That's fantastic. We are so happy for you. You have done so, so well. You have shown such fortitude. That will serve you well in college. Where did I just get really lucky? I love you guys. <laughs> Shut up. Way to ruin the moment. I'm embracing the moment. Let us remember Justin for his accomplishments on the football field and the basketball court. Let us remember his smile that I am told melted a hundred hearts. And Matt and Lainey are so happy to have you. They saved my life. All three of them. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> Like more times than you know. What are you trying to be? Alive. Don't love anything more than life. Okay. <clears throat> but let's also remember his death. Justin has tested positive for HIV. And based on his symptoms, we believe it has progressed to AIDS. Like it was the end of the world. Justin is is. Is sick. And it was. Justin Foley died of a disease that from its inception thrives in silence. Disease in his lung is quite advanced. And we're also starting to see advanced neurological symptoms. The goal is to keep him as comfortable as possible and manage the symptoms as best as we can. I just want to be clear. I don't actually see ghosts, imagine people, and... He's never getting any better! He's fucking dying! What I would say to them... Are, are you afraid? I am. Am I supposed to do this without you? Clay, it's like you said. You'll survive. Will you hold, will you hold my hand, bro? <laughs>